Good Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. We're going to spend our time today looking at scriptures I think are going to answer how to grow in the Lord and His service. As I look around, one of the things that just floors me is how little time people that claim Christ as Lord spend in the Bible. It's amazing how little time we devote to the Word of God. You know, we claim to be Christians and want to be Christ-like, but if you're going to be like somebody, you have to know how to be like them. And another thing, too, is if you're going to call yourself a Christian, you need to know what Christians uh, know and how to act like a Christian and how to respond as a Christian. And what Christian means is Christ-like. The only truth that will last is found in the Word, and because of that the way we are moved closer to perfection is by immersion in the word of god to make my point let us read first john 2 5 but whoever keeps his word in him the love of god has truly been perfected by this we know that we are in him how do you know you know i'll have people tell me occasionally how do i know that i'm a christian how do i know the holy spirit dwells in me after asking jesus into my heart and making him lord and Savior and asking forgiveness for my sins. How do I feel that closeness with him? How do I feel that connection with him? Well, I don't care who you are in any relationship. If you don't spend time with somebody, there's not going to be a connection. If you don't spend time getting to know them and how we get to know our God, the one we are to serve, is through the Bible. Yet, once again, it amazes me how much little time, how little time we spend in the Bible as Christians. I often have people say to me, Preacher, how do I know that I'm walking in Christ? How do I know that? Because if you love like Christ, and look at what the Word tells us, but whoever keeps his Word in him, the love of God has been uh, truly perfected. What's that mean? It means if you don't spend time in the Word, your love for God is not going to be perfected in a way that brings glory to him. The answer is found in our text for today. If you are keeping the word, both you and those around you will know it. If you are keeping the word of God by your actions, by your thoughts. You know, the word of God doesn't change us from the outside. It changes us from the inside. And we've got to take it in and consume it. We've got to feed on the word of God. In order for us to have a healthy spiritual life, we have to feed on the right things. And that is the word of God. The whole word of God. We talked about uh, last Saturday. They did not spend a lot of time questioning it. They uh, argued little about it. They just spent time in the Word of God. You know, if everybody spent time in the Word of God that we devote ourselves to, we wouldn't have all these arguments about what the Word of God meant and this and that. Because you know what? Through the power of God's Holy Spirit, we would be so connected to Christ, there'd be no question about doctrine. And by the way, doctrine's not a dirty word. All doctrine means is Bible truth. They preached it. They loved it, they lived it, they practiced it, they trusted it, and they obeyed it. May our testimony about the Word of God be the same. May we also preach it. How are you going to connect with God if you don't connect with God's people through public worship? And the preaching of the Word is so important every week. Not just once, not just twice, but oftentimes as often as you can get. To meet with the people of God. How are you going to connect with God and his people if you don't spend time with them? I have people tell me all the time, well, I don't need the church to be saved. No, you don't need the church to be saved. All you need is Christ. But you need the church and like-minded people if you are going to serve God to his glory. Spend some time in the word. This Thursday, commit yourself to that. Let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, may we commit ourselves to more time in your word. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.